hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how are you doing okay so as promised in my previous video i said i was going to uh, make a note taking application yeah using firebase and so this is what we are here to do so we're going to be building is a note simple note taking application there's no more complexity so we're just going to use firebase as our back end and also we're going to use firebase authentication okay to authenticate users into the app and then we just build the app with flutter yeah so before I actually promised I was going to use a provider as well, but I later changed my mind. So what I'll be doing in my upcoming uh, play, there's an upcoming application I'll be building. So that way I'll be, that one I'll be using a provider to show you guys how it works, okay? But for this particular one now, I'm not going to use provider. I'm just going to go straight with you uh, because I want other persons to, to actually understand how to uh, build simple applications using Flutter and Firebase, okay? So, and there uh, are some things I want to show you guys. So, this Flutter Fire, uh, Firebase.flutter.dev is actually going to be the, uh, let's just take it, our documentation page. So, I'm going to use here to uh, see, show you guys how to uh, perform Firebase authentication. So, what we are going to be using for this one is just going to be uh, Google Auth. Yeah, we are only going to use Google Authentication for this. And then... After Google Auth, then we're going to use a Cloud Fire Store to store our data, our tests, uh, the to do, uh, sorry, the notes into our Firebase and then retrieve it. So basically, the only things we are working with is this Cloud Fire Store and authentication. Okay. So I just want you guys to know that and get ready. Uh, make sure this tab is open on your system and make sure you also have a Firebase account as well. And then we get started.